my school day. Hi, my name is Mason and I am in the 4th grade. I go to school by bus every morning. This is my school. The school doors open at 8.30. This is my locker where I keep my backpack and all my stuff. Hey! Justin! No running in the halls. Walk slowly. And no yelling. Wait, Clara. That paper ball belongs to you. Please pick it up and throw it to the trash can. This is the hall monitor. He is a student volunteer who is charged with maintaining order in the hallway. The bell is ringing. The first class is English. This is my classroom and these are my classmates. This is Mrs. Morris, our teacher. Good morning, class. Please take your seats. Stop talking and be quiet so that we could start the lesson. Great. I'm glad you finally settled down. Let's first take a roll call and see who's absent today. Clara. Here. Kate. Here. I'm glad you're back to school. You were absent for three days. What happened? I was pretty sick. But I'm okay now. I'm glad to hear that. Do you have a doctor's note? Yes, I have. Here it is. Paul? Present. Mason? Here? I have an excuse note from my baseball coach for yesterday, when I couldn't attend school, because we had a competition. Okay, thank you Mason. Okay class. You were supposed to do some book reports for today. I would like to collect them now. Excuse me Mrs. Norris, but I haven't finished it yet. I didn't know it was due today. I'm sorry you misunderstood. I reminded you on Friday that it was due today, but it seems you did not pay attention to a word I said. I'll give you one more chance and let you bring it tomorrow. Thank you very much, Mrs. Norris. Okay, let's review now our last lesson about fables. Ben, are you with us? Eyes front, please. Who can tell me what a fable is? Mason. Mrs. Norris. May I go to the bathroom? Oh. Okay, but after that, there will be no further interruptions. What are you doing in the hallway during class time? I am going to the bathroom. My teacher gave me a hall pass. Very well. You may go then. Okay, now class, please take out your books and turn to page 35. We are going to read a beautiful poem. Sophia may begin. Now please work in pairs and do exercise one, but not too loud. Keep your voices down. You have five minutes to do it. Your answers were excellent, but we'll have to stop here. For the next time, please learn the poem by heart. Class dismissed. Our next class is physical education. Let's begin with a lunge. Keep your body straight and step forward with one leg. Straight down and up. Straight down and up. Next exercise we have is leg raises. Are you ready? Let's start. Up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Excellent. Now let's do some leg stretching. One more time. Wonderful. Now jump with your legs spread wide and your arms up. Keep jumping. Don't stop. Everybody lie with the back on the floor and bend your knees. Come up and come back down.
Okay, now breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Well done everyone. That was really exhausting. And I'm so sweaty. Our third class is science, my favorite subject. And Pluto is made of ice and rock. <laughs> Emily, stand up. Repeat what I've just said. Well, you said... I'm sorry, I didn't catch the last part. Please swap places with Clara. Justin, come to the front and show Pluto. Sorry, Justin. Good try, though. Who wants to help him? Ben. That's right. Well done, Ben. Justin, please pay more attention next time. Now it's recess and lunch time. We have lunch at the school cafeteria at 12.15. After lunch, we play in the playground. Our last class is math. I brought you the test results. You'll all get them in a moment. Great effort, Kate. I got A+. Plus. How did you do? I only got two wrong. I got A minus. Mrs. Norris, what's my grade on the test? Is it a good one? Did I do well? Paul, please wait patiently for your turn. Please have your parents sign those tests and bring them back to me tomorrow. I'm very disappointed I got a C. My parents will be upset. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll do better next time. Your grades will get better if you study harder. That's all for today. Let's pack things away, and make sure you don't forget anything at school. See you tomorrow. It's 2 o'clock, the end of the school day. Time to go home. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website www.kidspeaches.com.